If we can measure it, we can manage it. And in the tobacco world, it's really important to be able to measure it. Having data shines light on the problem. And without that light, that sunshine that comes from data, you really can't address a problem. And that's what this global tobacco surveillance system has done. It has shed light on the problem of tobacco use around the world in, in almost every country. The global tobacco surveillance system provides an opportunity for countries to collect their own data, but using a system that provides consistency and standard processes for the data collection. So they have the opportunity through training where our staff go in, work with them in country to build their skills and build their capacity to do the data collection, to be able to use the tools and resources that have been made available and to ensure that there is that high quality data that is collected. And then the countries can be confident that the data that they have and that they've collected is reliable and valid to support the interventions that they're working on and the policies that they're trying to advance. GYTS, also known as the Global Youth Tobacco Survey, focuses on kids who are enrolled in schools and they're 13 to 15 years of age. And we want to find out what's happening in terms of tobacco use and the different kinds of products they're using and what is going on in terms of their exposure to tobacco advertisements. We also have um, GATS, which is a Global Adult Tobacco Surveillance System, where we collect data from adults 15 years of age or older. So the countries can make decisions about what they need to do. And again, you know, data are useful in terms of not only describing the landscape, but also telling a story. You know, data always tell a story. And I think our two systems, being the gold standards, tell a very complete story of what's going on in the tobacco landscape. We know partly through these surveys that there are a, a billion smokers in the world and that there will be millions of deaths a year from tobacco use. And having the data to document the extent of the problem in nearly every country is invaluable. You really can't put a price tag on the importance of having that information to drive programs and to evaluate the success of those programs. And I think one of our best examples is Philippines. They, they had a landmark legislation passed in 2012 related to their national tax on tobacco products. And the idea behind that for them was they would generate revenues to be able to address public health problem of tobacco use. And the data from GATS, they did two waves of data, showed that their programs and their policies had been quite effective in reducing tobacco use. And it also allowed them to take the taxes and invest in public health programs that directly address the tobacco burden and epidemic. So that's a really good example of how data are used. Another example we have is from India, which used their, uh, one of their laws to ban Gutka. And they were able to use their GATS data, they collected two waves of GATS data to demonstrate the effectiveness of the Gutka bans. The CDC's Office on Smoking and Health's vision is a world free from tobacco-related disease and death. If we're going to achieve the kinds of goals that we've set for ourselves, we really need to continue to work to put into place the strategies and the interventions that we know work to prevent tobacco use. We're very confident that our data will be very useful and again, you know, if we can measure it, we can do something about it. And what GTSS does, it allows us to measure at any given time what's going on. So we're very proud of our system. <laughs>